Our connected world relies on interoperability and compatibility. These two core functions make technology and global business possible. Have you ever wondered why it all works? How it all fits together? In large part, it's because of the global standards developed by IEEE. IEEE standards are comprehensive, complete, and stable, highly stable. The IEEE standards process is robust, rigorous, and time-proven. Even though they've been around for more than 75 years, IEEE standards are paving the way for tomorrow's technology. Without standards, you don't know what's going on in the future. IEEE standards are developed through a step-by-step -step process, driven by consensus, designed to meet current and future needs. The members of the subcommittees might see a void or a need in the industry, so there's a formal process of requesting a project that will be approved by the IEEE to allow us to formally work on that. The process is open and inviting, where both individuals and organizations play an important role. It's pretty simple, you have an understanding and it's, it's not a specific vendor-driven kind of approach. Um, IEEE plays importance to each and every member associated with IEEE body. Various global companies and individuals are involved in development of IEEE standards. They harmonize the requirements of products across the globe. The continued strength of the Standards Association has a lot to do with the people that, um, that, help, that help it function day to day, and that's both the volunteers as well as the staff that do a remarkable job of having the ship function every day. And it's, um, it's important to have people that are committed to the technical effort also be involved in the governance. Throughout the process, impartiality guides the activities of all involved. Uh, these different uh, groups are handling the different phases of changing a very rough idea into a real standard, uh, into a real industry standard. In every group, there are very mature procedures that we can easily follow. The first time you make a suggestion, guaranteed you're going to be wrong. That's fine. It's, it's good to fail and then, you know, straight from, take it from there. And that's where I think the young brains can come in really handy and tell, OK, here is a problem I need to be solving. And many of them can be solved. In addition to avoiding undue influence, this process also ensures the best possible outcomes balanced across all stakeholders. The IEEE standards development process is very fair in the sense that there's a concept of quorum where a minimum number of people has to be there to vote on a particular agenda, which ensures fairness and quality. You're there to solve a problem collectively and you use each other through what I call group wisdom. And it's a wonderful thing. A fair, democratic, consensus-driven approach the standards development process ensures that the best, most cutting-edge technology makes its way to the marketplace in an orderly manner. We, as a representative of the IEEE team, is because we think that IEEE has a lot of technology in the world. And there are a lot of good companies in this room. They have a lot of good attitude to participate in this process. 华为公司参加这些项目呢，以及部分的呃主动的参加这些项目呢，是因为华为公司觉得这些项目是有很大的价值，对于业界或者是现在或者是在不久的将来，会对产业产生很大的推动。In addition to participating in a process that brings together the best minds in the industry. Members of the IEEE Standards Development Committee are also the first to learn about the newest technologies. Over my years as an engineer, I have followed IEEE standards. And by following these standards, I have saved costs, I have saved time, and equally prevent myself from being embarrassed and that of my client too. And then following these standards have given credibility to my work by giving me accurate results, timely, and efficiently. It's an exciting and vital process, developing the very best of what's next in technology through a consensus approach that drives the best possible outcomes. Consensus, 
We build it.